Alright guys, it's time for another book review. This isn't necessarily a things that are awesome. It's more like the Shiverlinger video, in which I'm going to talk about a book. This time it's called Harry Potter Film Wizardry. It's basically a book about the making of all, all the Harry Potter movies. And let's give you a basic idea. Here we got on the top, Harry, Ron, Hermione, Snape, Voldemort, and Dumbledore on the bottom. Spoiler alert, everyone on the bottom dies. And just so you know, when you buy the book, it will not come with these tabs here. I marked those myself just so I can show you guys what I'm about to show you. But let's turn on the book. Here's the spine. On the back, it's got all this junk. Basically, it's telling you what you'll find inside the book. Let's flip it back over. There's so much detail in this book, it's going to be take hours to go through it all. I'll just go through as much as I can. Here's his Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and you put your name class and year, not that that'll make much of a difference. So we open it up. The first extra you'll see is the actual letter that Harry Potter receives, Mr. H. Potter, the covered under the stairs, number four, Privet Drive, Little Wing in Surrey. You open it up, and it's more or less the actual letter from the movie. Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Soon shall be required to report to the Chamber of Reception upon arrival, dates for which shall be duly advised. Please ensure that the utmost attention be made to the list of requirements attached to it with. We look very much look forward to receiving you as part of the new generation of Hogwarts heritage. Yours sincerely, Professor McGonagall. Then, dump some stuff about Dumbledore at the bottom, which is mostly abbreviated, so I can't really tell you what it means. And then go over here. This is one of the many fold-out sections of the book. That's what it looks like. And down here you have a map of Diagon Alley, which is essentially the same map you'll get if you buy it at the Noble Collection. It's got all this stuff. Potter's just called in a shop, why is it goes wizarding equipment, flourishing blots, eyelops, yada yada yada. And over here we have the Borgen and Burke's Auctioneer's Catalog. Gonna open it up. The Hand of Glory, which you'll remember from the books. Some s random skulls and stuff. The Opal Necklace that gets Katie Bell into a lot of trouble. Secret book called Secrets of the Darkest Art. That's pretty much it. Turn a few pages. Here we have what on the front it appears to be. Advanced Potion Making, the book that Snape graffitied in in the Half-Blood Prince. And you open it up, and it's stickers. Which, honestly, who uses stickers anymore? They're stickers of potion, of potion bottles and potion labels, which you can do. And there's more in here. Hold on, let me break. I have to break for a second to change. Okay, sorry about that. Now on to the next extra, which this is in the Hogsmeade section. You get punch out boxes for candy that they serve a honeydukes. So you get black pepper imps, which are obviously from the book, sugared Madame Borboletta sugared butterfly wings, and something interesting here is that they are valid till 2785, so that must be some pretty good candy. On the back, honeydukes, purveyors of fine confectionaries, fizz and whisbies, licorice wands, acid pops, yada yada yada. More stuff. And here, in the Goblet of Fire section, you get the program for the 422nd Quidditch World Cup. Let's open it up. Stuff about Bulgaria and Ireland. Victor Crumb versus Aiden Lynch. Add for pumpkin juice. The back sponsored by Butterbeer, Pumpkin Juice, Green Gots Bank, and Nimbus 2001. Something I forgot to mention is that, obviously because of all the stuff that's cram-packed in here, that uh, if you buy the book, it'll either come wrapped in plastic or it won't be. Where I bought it, it was wrapped in plastic. I bought a Barnes and Noble, and I would assume it would be wrapped in plastic everywhere else. I've seen places that don't have it wrapped in plastic, but that's just me. And now here we have another program. Let me see if I can get it out. This time it's for the Yule Ball. And it's very small, very flimsy, very flimsy thing. This little tower at the top is about to fall off. So I'm going to flip it over on the back, you can see, you're pro there's no chance in hell you'll be able to read this. If you flip it open, it'll say, 
At the first one stroke, lead your partner to the dance floor. At the second one stroke, your beverage will be served, whatever fly in hell your beverage is. At the third one stroke, your feast will be served. Flip it look over there. At the fourth one stroke, Witch and Wizard of the Ball will be announced. At the fifth one stroke, you will parade of wand skills. And at the sixth one stroke, final you will dance and goodnight to our very special guests, obviously being Bo Battens and Durmstrang. Let's slip that back in there. Most of the, some of the extras, as you'll see, will come in like little, very flimsy envelopes like this. This this one's especially hard to get back in. If you if you're really OCD and you want the, it's a completely touch the bottom. That'll be make it very hard to get out without ripping the tower or the top off. More stuff. The second task was the mermaids. The third task. And here, this one's pretty cool. It's all the educational decrees that Professor Umbridge issues. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Here we have extracurricular activities are subject to review by the High Inquisitor. No music is to be played during study hours. Stamped by Dolores Jane Umbridge, right there. All students would be submitted to questioning by suspe suspected illicit activities. Those wishing, wishing to join the Inquisitorial Squad for extra credit may set up in the High Inquisitor's office. I'll put that back later. I've only got one hand. And this, this here's some extra detail. It's Luna Lovegood's list of lost items. Nothing really special here. There is a book. Apparently she lost a book called Easy Spells to Fool Muggles. Which is good for a laugh. And this, obviously, is the big one. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. They have, if you buy this book, you are getting... Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs are proud to present the Marauder's Map. Yep, they went all out for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fold it open. It's very hard to do this with one hand. And fold it open here. The one thing that truly prevents this from being an actual replica is that it does not have the flaps on the inside of the map that open up. If you recall in the movie, this thing used to open up like that. Here, for some reason, it's like stuck on here. You could fold it up, see some other stuff like the... Room of Doom right there, but stuck on there. There are no flaps here on the inside, but aside from that, there's incredible detail in this thing. And it look it's very much a uh, actual replica of the map they used in the movie. Except no mischief manage and I saw solemnly swear I'm up to no good required. It's pretty much the map just like that. Hold on. And so if you're thinking of buying this book, I definitely recommend you do so because you're getting so many good extras. It, where I got it, it was like it had it on sale. It was like 29 bucks. Here's yet another extra. There's so much stuff in this. And not, there's a lot of other extras and other details you'll see on the pages of the book itself, which will take me hours to go through the whole thing. But here, I'm just going through all the obvious flap-up details. This is a product catalog for Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. And the only big thing that really destroys the reality of this, right here, you'll, if you keep, let's see, it says, created solely to exhibit creative elements from film. And to my knowledge, it's the only product in the thing that does that. So if you'll flip it open. Jinx off robes that the Ministry of Magic buys. Sticky sneakers, boxing telescope, a little miniature fine Fort Anglia, explosive enterprises, pretty self-explanatory if you ask me, muggle magic, the haunted deck, magical mustache, wonder witch, including the love potion that gets Ron into some trouble, why are you worrying about you know who, you should be worrying about you know poo. And of course, the Skyvian stack box, Weasley and Weasley's number one bestseller. Last one. This is from the Deathly Hallows. It's the Ministry of Magic ID card, stamped, as you can see. Open it up, it's Mithalda Hopkirk. Excuse the background noise. And back here, you got sneak peek at some stuff from Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2. Again, please excuse that. 
So there you go. That's Harry Potter Film Wizardry. That's the whole book. Well, not the whole book. Just some of the extras you'll get. So again, if you're thinking about buying this, definitely do. It's a must-own if you're a Harry Potter fan. So many details in this book. It'll take me hours to go through them all. You get so many new interviews. You get four introductions. One from the producer. One from Daniel Radcliffe. One from Emma Watson. One from Rupert Grint. So many extras. Just hours and hours of entertainment. So uh, definitely go buy it. It's at least well, probably between $25, $30. If you're a Harry Potter fan, it's a must own. And uh, Mischief Manage. Friends 227 out.